Hello and welcome to this flute tutorial sitting on the floor because you know sometimes that is just easier. Today I'm going to be answering a question that I received on how do I make my flute sound like an electric guitar, kind of like I did in this video. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go through a couple of different ways that you could approach this and there are others out there that exist. Um, I just don't have the equipment to do those so I'm not going to show you those. This is just how I've done it. So in order to make your flute sound like an electric guitar, you need to be able to send it through guitar pedals using a microphone. I have done another video covering how to actually do this, so if you need to see that one, there's a link down in the description below. If not, you can just keep watching. Now, unfortunately for you guys, I commonly use this pedal over here, the Dig Digitech RP, I think 55, which is discontinued, so you can't pick it up anymore. And in fact, Digitech have discontinued this entire line of multi effects pedals. But basically, any multi effects pedal that has distortion presets on it will give you the sound you want. So, for example, if I flick this one on, you get. <laughs> That's pretty much how that one works. It has 40 different sounds, it does a mixture of distortion and other ones. The thing to note with multi-effects pedals is they're good because they combine a number of effects all into one. So even though that particular sound was actually called preset one, could be described as being distortion, it's got reverb in there, it's got a little bit of delay, and it's probably got some sort of pitch shift in there as well to make it sound a bit more beefier. But that's kind of not helpful unless you can pick one of these pedals up secondhand. The next pedal I'm gonna show you is the Boss Vocal, uh, what's it called? VE20, -E Vocal Effects Processor. Whew. Um, this one is has a very basic limited distortion on it. I don't often use the distortion on this one because I personally don't like it, but I know another flautist, Melissa Keeling, Keating, I've muddled up her surname. That's okay. Melissa is an amazing flautist if you don't know who she is, so totally check her out. And I think she uses the distortion on this pedal as well as another one she kind of combines too. Anyway, it's really easy. You activate the pedal and then you have a very basic distortion sound. <laughs> I think it's got a tiny bit of reverb. If I wanted to beef it up and make it sound a little bit more full, I'd flick on my other reverb pedal, a delay pedal, and I'm gonna add a pitch shift playing a fifth above. <laughs> that one. The, this one over here, the Boss Synthesizer SY1, it has some bass sounds on it, like bass guitar sounds. Some of them have a slight, ever so slight distortion thrown on, but I wouldn't use it if you were looking for something specifically more trebly like a guitar. So for example, <laughs> See, I wouldn't 
wouldn't specifically recommend that one if you're after distortion. Now, the other option, which is the one I've actually used in most of my videos, is this gigantic pedal over here, the GT100. When I bought this, I was tossing up between this one and another one, which is like the ME. I can't remember the number. It's either like 700 or 800, but it's another boss pedal. Um, the GT100 is definitely considerably harder to program than the ME. The ME one is kind of a good like step into multi-effects processing because it's kind of like all of this built into one pedal and you've got physical knobs you can twist and turn around and you can kind of edit it that way. This one is good because even though it'll be a really steep learning curve on how to how to program it, um, it's got you can load preset sounds into it, which I'm not sure if the ME can do or not. I'll have to double check for you. But by loading preset sounds into it, because this is what I did, particularly for Bohemian Rhapsody, is you jump onto the effects library, you find some really nice guitar nerd who has created a sound to sound just like the guitarist from Queen, and then you just download it, load it into your board, and you are good to go. So I'm going to... Uh, flick out of the editing system. There we go. And I'll let you have a listen. So <laughs> another queen one but you can t you'll tell when I play it that it's a slightly different distortion to the other one so <laughs> preset sounds. The only thing is they're all quite terrible for flute. Like they all pretty much sound identical and they just don't sound very good at all. However, if you're loading in other people's sounds or building your own, then it's really good, but it's a really steep learning curve, or at least <laughs> I found it. As opposed to something like this, which is much smaller, same, same sort of family. It's a multi-effects pedal, but it They've kind of given you presets and you don't really edit them. You could if you wanted to, but they kind of are really fiddly to edit, so you just use your presets. But the presets on the DigiTap work really well for flute because they cover like a wide variety of sounds as opposed to the presets on this, which sound really good on guitar, actually. I checked it out on my guitar because I was curious to see what was going on. And it worked for guitar, but it just, yeah, didn't work for flute. Anyhow, this is my video on how to make a flute sound like it is an electric guitar. Please excuse the fact that I have recorded this on an alto flute. My C flute is currently getting serviced. However, uh, it'll sound, it sounds almost identical when I play it on my C flute as opposed to the alto flute. The alto flute obviously just goes a couple of notes lower. Hopefully I'll get my flute back soon because I miss it. But that's okay. Keep making music Ask your questions down below and I'll try and get back to you in a timely fashion and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. See ya!